Hey guys, what's up? Today I have my top five drugstore lipstick picks for spring. I was like really trying hard to narrow it down because I love lipstick. It is my favorite makeup item to swatch, to wear, to play with. I love all shades of lipstick and I was trying to think, okay, what are my most used lipsticks? What are the ones that I'm wearing a lot right now? I'm going to start off with the one that I have on right now that I was wearing all day today. This is from Alme and I have a whole review on these. These are their Butter Kiss lipsticks smart shade butter kiss lipsticks it's a really long name um, and this is the pink light shade I believe yeah number 60 this is such a fantastic formula it's kind of like a new and improved version of the Revlon uh, what were those called you know what I'm talking about? What were they called? I'm drawing a blank. Revlon Lip Butter. That's what I was trying to think of. These Almay lipsticks are kind of like a newer, more improved version. These don't slip out of my lip lines like the Revlon Lip Butters do. It's a really nice everyday formula. It's very comfortable. It feels like a lip balm. It has a lot of hydration in it. So if you want something that's going to kind of condition your lips and be comfortable all day long, get this. They have so many colors. It is a beautiful line. And Almay and Revlon are owned by the same company. Company, so that's why they're very similar products. I mean, even the packaging is pretty much like the Revlon lip butters. This lipstick is also another one of my favorite formulas at the drugstore. These are from Essence and they are the long lasting lipsticks. They also have a couple other lines of lipstick and I do like them, but this one is my favorite because it's creamy, it's pigmented, and it actually does last quite a long time on my lips. So here's Love Me on my lips. It has no scent to it whatsoever. It's just in a traditional lipstick tube. It's very creamy. It's not as hydrating as the Alme lipstick so if you want something very moisturizing go for this but if you want something that's going to stick onto your lips and actually last during the day check these out they're like five dollars at Walgreens and Ulta. This lipstick color just instantly makes me happy when I see it. It's from Milani. This is a part of their color statement line. You can get these at a lot of drugstores for around six to seven dollars and the shade is Flamingo Pose and it does have kind of a satin finish. It's not super glossy but it's also not matte either. It's one of my favorite bright lipsticks I have in my entire collection. I really love this one. It does have kind of a watermelon candy scent. I enjoy it, but some of you might find it annoying. Um, I just like these. I love the color statement line. Another great line at the drugstore, and they have a ton of shades to choose from. I'll just show you what it swatches like. One swipe and you're done. This stuff is just insanely pigmented. You only need a tiny bit to get this radioactive color going on. And I also have kind of a similar dupe kind of product. I mean, they're around the same price. Um, this is also from the drugstore. It's from Revlon and this is their Color Burst Matte Balm called Unapologetic. It is very similar to the Flamingo Pose. I just wanted to show you guys in case you want a matte option. This is the Revlon one. I mean they're pretty similar. So if you have this you don't really need the Flamingo one from Milani. This one technically isn't a lipstick formula but it is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Amsterdam. I love this shade. I mean year round this is a great one but I especially like to wear it now. This isn't like a liquid lipstick. It's just got that creamy feel to it all day long when you wear it. So it will wear off when you eat and drink, but it does kind of leave behind a beautiful stain on your lips. So even when it wears off, it's still a pretty lip product. I really enjoy the formula and this color is amazing. They do have a ton of shades. They even just added some new ones in this line. I'm sure you guys have all heard of these before, but I had to mention Amsterdam. It's one of my favorites. And last but not least here is the NYC Expert Last Lipstick in Travel. Jam. These lipsticks are amazing quality and I'm not sure why. I haven't really heard many people talk about them before. I think it's just because NYC is known for being kind of a cheaper brand, but this is amazing. I'm telling you guys, like if you put this in a MAC tube and said cream sheen on it, like people probably would not be able to tell the difference because it is such a smooth texture. It is just great. I really love it. It's amazing. Watch it right here next to Amsterdam and really one swipe and you're done, but I'll show you this is full color. I mean, what you see is what you get. It's awesome, and I love the packaging too. It's a beautiful lipstick. Check this out. Can't recommend it enough. Let me know your top five down below. I would love to chat with you guys about one of the best things ever in the entire world. I can't wait to hear from you all, and as always, thank you so much for watching.